Uh, not another speeding ticket. I'll fight it in court, but I don't think they're gonna accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. Hey, that was Roger Craig Smith voicing Sonic the Hedgehog in the show Sonic Boom on Cartoon Network. Well, he and many others will be at PopCon at the convention center this weekend. And look, Roger is here with us in studio this morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you. It's, it's so weird. It's Where's my microphone? I know, right? <laughs> So there's a camera here? It's not Weird. the usual setup, yeah, right? No, yeah, I was trying true. to hear your voice in that too. I'm like, oh wait, that is him. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> yes, exactly. Yeah. No, that's uh, it's a little <laughs> it's a little affected, yes. It might be too early for that shrill, annoying it's, voice. Maybe a little <laughs> early, yeah. Still so tell me a little bit how's indie? How's it being here? You got to be able to check anything out other than popcorn yet? Indies, well, no. Sadly, yeah. that's that is kind of the, the convention circuit tends to be that of like course. people go like, oh, you must have had a great time, and you, you think I go from an airline to a hotel <laughs> to the convention center back to the hotel. And yes. It's, but but it, it's funny because I th this was sort of a foray into uh, into voiceover for me was doing stand up comedy. Really. And I did a week at Crackers in <gasps> downtown back in like 2003 2004. Oh. Oh, yeah. And, and I was thankfully a horrible stand up, and more people in the industry just said, like, you know, hey, do you do voiceovers or well, cartoons and voices and things do a like different that? Route. And that's what uh, led me into voice acting was that I was a bad stand up. So, <laughs> yeah, the last time I was in Indianapolis, I was uh, stinking up uh, crackers. Oh, club. I wonder if anyone at home is watching. Like, I was at like, that I remember show. that guy. He was horrible. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Who thought he'd have a career? <laughs> and, a, I mean, an amazing career. You have been uh, in so many shows, voicing over movies as well. I mean, tell us about some of those that you've been a part of oh my gosh it's, it's so when you come to a convention it's that's it, you're so fixated and focused on the, the the goal of acquiring the next gig yeah that you sometimes forget that the thing that you're doing this work behind the, the voice of a microphone gets enjoyed and is is sort of like interacted with uh, by a public yes and all of a sudden you come to one of these events and they spread out you know little <laughs> images of your <laughs> characters that you voice that kind of thing and uh -huh. suddenly you look and you go oh that's right and you, you get to interact with fans that, that have experienced a, a show or a video game and it means something to them and you because yes. you, you, you're just you're just thinking the entire time execute on the job get the gig do uh -huh. all that kind of stuff and then suddenly somebody goes hey this character means so much to me because my little brother and I used to play this and, and yeah. we as a family we all bonded over this character that kind of thing so it's it's a really unique experience coming and doing a fan convention like this yeah. but for lack of a better term a pop culture convention of course yeah um, where people just get to participate and love and geek out on all the things that are geeky and nerdy and, I love and it. it's just a huge celebration so it's fun people to, really to build see those it. relationships with you Without so yesterday was the first day you were yes. there obviously it goes all weekend how's it going I mean, has it been going great? It's great, yeah. I mean, like, there's, there's, I've never been to a convention where there's, like, sort of, like, bad energy. It's like, it's, <laughs> Of course, yeah, everyone's there to have a great time. Absolutely, and celebrate the things that they love so much that sometimes in the general public you don't get to necessarily dress up this way oh, or talk like that or that kind of thing. So they, they all sort of congregate and we all get to just sort of celebrate pop culture and being a part of all of these, these fun, incredible things. And I sit there and just geek out at, like, what I'm seeing with the art. There's and so much. Legos and yeah, and and the cosplay from everybody, it's just incredible. As we were seeing in that video there, there's just so much to do. It's so exciting. Well, Before we go, I want you to be able to give us a little, you know, give us some voices that maybe oh. that it might hear someone at home could hear, like, oh, that's okay. the voice. I know it. So we've done Sonic the Hedgehog uh, in, in Sonic Boom and video games since 2010. Uh, a friend from my Chopper 6 on regular show. Um, oh gosh, Batman in Arkham Origins, uh, Captain Ooh. America, uh, Mirage from Apex Legends, uh, he got bamboozled, uh, and this one, oh. most famously, okay. the former narrator of Say Yes to the Dress. Wait, what? <laughs> you are in Say Yes to the Dress? Yes, I did like 14 seasons of narrating that show, so meanwhile, across the salon, that's just like over and over and over again, but yeah, that's, that's, that's my claim to fame. You I can be Sonic that. the Hedgehog or Batman or Captain America, but... Say yes to the dress. See, I was going to say, I don't know much about comics and those, but I do know say yes to the dress. You got to cosplay gonna... in a wedding dress and show up and, you know. I know I'll what I'm doing today. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much for thank being you, here. This was, so, this was great. Thank, thank you, you so for much. being here. Thank you. PopCon today runs through the weekend. You can find everything you need to know about ticket information. Go see Roger. It'll be great on our website, fox59.com. We'll be right back. <laughs>